I'll just give you a heads up, we're on a bit of a time crunch. We only have uh, 35 minutes of battery, which for us is not a lot of time. Uh, it's a record. But, yeah, <laughs> but uh, uh, I, I'm sure we can uh, talk about this fine. He doesn't know what we are talking about. Rob, let's do a real thoughts on a video we uh, put back up recently. And it's been taken down and put back up, taken down, put back up. Let's talk about Wh the church. <laughs> <laughs> the purge works. Yes, it just works. Um... Uh, a little history about this movie. I saw the trailer, says so the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. My wife really wanted to see it on Valentine's Day. Uh, so See, that's how you know you married the right woman. I, I guess. See, it I'm was either that or some rom-com, okay? Yeah, no, I'll... <laughs> I'll give it that, but at the same time, it's like... I like how Valentine's Day has turned to, like, slaw... It's like the Valentine's Day Massacre Day. I think they get, like, it wrong with the movies because then Deadpool comes out on Valentine's mm -hmm. Day and everything. Uh, so I see this movie, and we both have a pretty good laugh. Uh, we thought it was very, very funny, even though it wasn't supposed to be funny. And uh, it was just something where afterwards I just couldn't stop talking about it. I couldn't shut up about it. It was just yeah. making me laugh how ridiculous it was. And I said, you know, we got to do a review on this. And recently I've kind of tried to do films that in some way tie into nostalgia. I'm going to do something recent. So I probably wouldn't do something like The Purge nowadays. But it was just so friggin' stupid, but also so well, entertainingly maybe nostalgic bad. for better horror movies. Maybe. It's just, you better know, that I had to talk films. about it. And you didn't see it until I said, we're doing a review of it. Like, we're just, we're doing it. Because I also thought the guy looked a lot like Matthew. And I'm just like, we, we got to do this because Matthew he looks so does. much like this guy. That's all I could think of. And nobody else was drawing that comparison. And, of course, Matthew did that unbelievable job in the review. <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> no, that same dude, he was the best thing in the movie. His name is not Henry, by the way. That's actually the name of the boyfriend. But since he didn't have a name, I decided that's just as good a name as any. So I just assumed there's two Henrys in the movie. Because uh, people remember that character much more than the boyfriend who just out of nowhere came in and whatever, tried to shoot the dad or some dumb shit. It was so pointless. <laughs> um, but, uh... Okay. Anyway. Yeah, uh, he was... It... <laughs> He was in... What the hell was it I was watching? He was in something. It was... Dry, oh, Arrow. He oh, shows really? up... He shows up in Arrow as this, like, minor role. And... There are no it, minor roles when it comes to him. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it, it was one of those things where it's like... It, it, he definitely was more restrained. But I'm like... No, he'd better end up being a bad guy because I cannot take him seriously as like somebody who's supposed to be a quote unquote good guy. Uh, um, and sure enough, <laughs> <laughs> and he was great. But th that one drove me nuts though because I, it, I I didn't recognize him the first episode. Then the second episode, I'm like, is that the dude from The Purge? I'm like, no. I'm like, it couldn't be. I'm like. Maybe, and then like they seriously, I swear to God, we're just like, well, yeah, like it's the purge or something, and then like he cracks oh. this smile, and I'm like, oh my God, they did, it. <laughs> they did, you did it, Arrow. That um, guy is like the one guy who's just having like the time of his life. In way this too movie. much fun. Yeah, uh, you know, everyone else is like trying to take it seriously. I'm sure, like maybe in his head he kind of felt like, or maybe the director, I don't know, I'm jumping to conclusions, but he acts like, you know, in his head he's thinking like, this is going to be like the chilling Oscar contender, you know, to go out there or something like that. And it's just so over the top and so crazy, but so passionate. It's just so entertainingly fun. I, uh, I was I reading it. I was, I was reading an interview. I don't know if it was the director or the writer, but with somebody, one of the main creators involved, and they were saying like, they base it on the idea that everybody gets one. Like, wouldn't it be nice if you could just kill one person? It was like the director's just... wife yeah. said that. Uh, wouldn't it be nice if everybody <laughs> just got one day where, you know, they could do it or something like that. But I think she meant it as a comedy. <laughs> Either a comedy or just an idea. The, the problem I have with it is... It takes itself too seriously, like, no, we're going to come up with this whole it could system. Happen, guys. And then it could this is, we're not too far this off. It's our future. Hmm. Well, I mean, we're only, what, two months away from potentially having Trump? <laughs> I, mean, yeah. maybe, I mean, there's a lot of shit that I thought could. Grant, there's yeah, a lot maybe, of shit I thought could maybe. have happened, <laughs> but uh, um, I still can't see that happening, you know, at all. I just can't see people agreeing to that. Or at, at the very least, when this movie came out, there was nothing else just like, you know, yes, America, it could happen. It's not you even know. agreeing. Oh, I could see plenty of people who would agree to it. <laughs> like, I, uh, not like, enough to get like a vote I, or anything like that. Again, 
T R U M P. I know, but it still <laughs> it's still seems even even the person. We're living in the year it. where like that happens, so it's hard for me to say. Oh no, I could never see people voting against their best interest. Of course, um, it. But it's more that the entire economy wouldn't collapse mm. in a heartbeat, that the entire nation wouldn't just completely cry. You do that once. Well, because it makes no and sense. And that's just... It, all, yeah. all violence, you know, doesn't come from we're just angry. It, it really does not come from that, you know? I mean, there was no insight to what, oh, you I'm know... Angry. Well, I mean, it, it, of course it can, often does with you, but it, there's no insight to... See, like, you're just too happy. <laughs> <laughs> there's just no insight into, like, why people do crimes and violence and stuff like that. I mean, there are people who do it because they have to. It's not just, I'm just pissed. You know, that's not the no. reason. The whole commentary was weird because it's like, it's a rich white family that holds themselves up but then gets attacked by another rich entitled white preppy looking kid and like it did, I don't know what the hell the movie was trying to say but it felt like it was trying to have some sort of socio-political commentary and mm -hmm. I'm like I, I don't even know what the hell it was though and it just totally but, doesn't work and it makes no sense but that's yeah. the pre if I can't believe in the premise like that one idea was kind of cool like, I'm just like, no, that would be an interesting idea. Like, if you get one kill and you can legally get away with it. Mm -hmm. Because that's different from the that's different from the purge. Yeah. Um, but the, the whole concept of a purge, I'm like, in one night, the, the entire country would just fall apart. Like, and if it would, if it had done this more as a dark comedy, yeah, that's it would have gotten away. Like, if this was like fucking Demolition Man, I would have. Or if this was like Idiocracy or something uh, like yeah, that, where there's I, this really funny, although even that's seeming more real to life nowadays than The Purge. Um, but uh, even Idiocracy, I could buy more. Like I said, I mean, we are kind of in a way seeing that more nowadays, but uh, I could buy that more. The Purge, just there is nothing to it that will like satisfy the mass majority and also work bring like this piece and have everybody okay and stuff and the whole idea of the movie is trying to prove it doesn't work and it's like no shit I know. It's, they're lying the project well i will give the sequels this much credit apparently they like start to like rip apart the flaws no no the okay I, I saw the second one i didn't Did see you? the third one i saw the second one the second one is almost a good movie because it takes, I swear to God, the director, same director and writer, uh, listened to all the criticism of the, of the first film, said, that's a good point. And then <laughs> this just, is all bullshit. Yeah, and wrote this sequel that actually, like, kind of shows, like, yeah, it wasn't working. And, like, it's actually kind of a conspiracy by the government and stuff to, like, get rid of poor people and stuff like that. It's like, this is so much better. It is, like, much better commentary. Yeah. It goes out into it's the still, city. It's you know, still it shows the it's world. Still it still wouldn't work. Mm -hmm. Like, you couldn't have... No, it, it doesn't quite work. You would have. You would literally but, have to have every nation involved do it, because if America did that, I can't imagine what would happen to the global economy. Yeah, you like... Just do one purge. Look at what happened after fucking Brexit. Now yeah. imagine <laughs> and the United States just decides to do a purge <laughs> once a year. Like, imagine that. So but, it still wouldn't work, but at least he's trying. But the second film, because I saw the second film thinking, like, oh, maybe we have to review that too, because, you know, it'll follow up. But it's like, I mean, it doesn't quite work, but it's like, it's really close. I really gave them credit that they were trying to fix the problems of the first one, and they really do fix, like, the majority of them and, and try very hard to make it make sense. It doesn't quite work, but it's like really, really close. Like, and it was actually a lot more entertaining and the characters were more interesting and it showed all the various other things you can do with it, not just Home Alone, you know, except reverse where the kids are trying to get after the adults. Um, so I really, really gave credit to that sequel. I didn't see the third one. Um, Electioneer. Uh, I actually, yeah. that was the one that by the trailer, I probably just wanted to see the most because I'm like, just okay, that looks is. fucking hilarious. <laughs> well, I don't just... know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if the movie's good or not. I actually didn't even read the reviews because I'm like, well, I'll just catch it on video sometime. But... I didn't realize it came out honestly. <laughs> it did. I thought it did. wasn't that a summer movie. No, no. I, I, I think I it did. Know. I just, I sort of forgot but it came out. That was the only one. Like when I saw that trailer, I was laughing my ass off. Uh, I'm like, the, okay. the crowd I saw it with was laughing too. Um, but again, I don't know. It's like, are they going balls to the wall? Like this could really happen? Like 
in the first film or are they like kind of retconning it and making it a little clever and like maybe it'll kind of come full circle and everything will make sense in that I don't know I'm really curious I was hoping it would be the army of darkness to the evil dead <laughs> the first one's super serious second one's pretty funny and the third one's like ah just fuck it <laughs> um but uh but yeah, and I think there's some, because the film was a big hit, I think it's an idea almost like out of the 70s, like sort of those extreme futures, those extreme oh, yeah, it's dystopians. A dis yeah, dystopian, like... And, and not that we don't have those dystopian, you know, movies right now, they're mostly with young adult books, but there's something where this just seemed like such a basic, chaotic idea. You know, kind of like Hunger Games, just like, get children together and they kill each other, and you know, but it's... Well, I'll be but, honest. But it's more that like, get children together and kill each other, my... and it's somehow, like, saves the world like it's a good thing. The that would be thing, like, what? But the one that, thing that you know, drove me nuts thing. about... I'll be honest about Hunger Games. The only thing that drove me nuts about it was I didn't like the world building in that. Mm. I'm just like, this makes no fucking sense. Mm. I'm like, even in a post-apocalyptic future, it's like the idea that they would keep sending kids... I'm like... No, like, none of this really is making any sense to me. Um, I, I didn't give a shit that it was Battle Royale or whatever. I'm mm. like, whatever. But it... Yeah, even in that, I'm like, it didn't make any sense. I just thought it was a better story yeah. than The Purge was. The, the Purge just had nothing to it. Well, and The Hunger Games had, like, I know it's a weird comparison, but Hunger Games did have interesting characters. It had an interesting world, even though, like you said, there's a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense about it. But, you know, it, it's intriguing. And what's going to happen next with this one? It, it's just Home Alone. You know, that really is it, except it's serious. It's serious Home Alone, and it's all like, this could happen. Hunger Games, I don't think there's ever a fear. They never emphasize, America, we're going this route. I never think it's, it's like, the it's like focus It's like Home Alone crossed with Panic Room and some second-rate slasher movie. Mm. Like, that's what The Purge is. It, it's like if... Yeah, it's like if Hunger Games was happening, but we were watching it all from the rich side, and they were just really trying to emphasize, like, to everyone, including the people at home, you know, it works. It really works. It really works. And then, like, wait, it, it doesn't? doesn't? Yeah. Uh, so there is just this pretentiousness that person like that drives me nuts. I didn't like any of the characters. Either. Except for... Henry, whatever, yes. our fake Henry. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, he was the only one I liked. Because he was the only one having fun. He was the only one. kind of like, like Willy Wonka that way. Like, Gene Wilder is the only kind of likable character, and you're uh, kind of just rooting for him to kill all the other kids <laughs> off. It's the same It's the same idea. Like, it's just like, I but like But even him. those kids are enjoyably, you know, despicable and jerky and stuff. Like, nobody in this is, you know, enjoyable or unique or anything like that. They're just kind of. <laughs> that would have been. Actually, that would have been hilarious if they were like, the kids, can it, Dad! <laughs> <laughs> I want to purge now! Wouldn't it be great if Henry was in that group, was in like Willy Wonka's group, and then just, I want to blah, blah, blah. Boom! You see, Mr. Wonka, I'm getting that everlasting God stuff. <laughs> just let us purge. We, we gave you a chance to give us that God stopper! <laughs> and you denied us! <laughs> I oh my god, the funny thing is like flashbacks how much fun he was. I guess the only thing that bothers me about the movie, it's it wasn't even the movie, it's the movie just to me would have come and gone and I wouldn't have given a shit. Mm. It's the way it had this following of people that were just like, no, this is important. This means something. Yeah. That's what bothered me about the I'm like, no, this is garbage, guys. Like mm -hmm. enjoy it if you want, but this is garbage. <laughs> if it could really go in, like, like I said, the second one at and least And if it if it were goofier, I actually would have yeah. liked it a lot more. Like if it if it acknowledged it. It was like Death like, Race two thousand, yeah. the original. Oh, fuck. That would have been great. How much more fun would this movie oh, be? Hell yeah. Um but it but when it it it, it almost reminds me of um like, did I, you hate this movie more than I do, but I know what you're saying about it when you talk about District 9. It reminds yeah. you of that kind of thing. It's just like, it's so pretentious about it. And I'm like, you should have just gone as a dark comedy. Yeah. Well, District 9 tried to, but it wasn't funny. And it wasn't good commentary. <laughs> was it a dark I kept, I watched it. It's trying to like, be everything. It's trying to be like, like The Office. It's yeah, trying to I, be like uh, Blair Witch like, Project. This is it's kind trying of to be funny, like an action but... film. It's trying to be, you know, dark commentary. It's trying to be serious. It's trying to be funny. And it just fails on all of them. Movie sucks. <laughs> Different vlog. Sorry. I know but a lot of people love it, but it sucks! I feel like this movie's kind of in that boat of what you think. Yeah, it's just that it's that so pretentious no. We can see. You can't. This movie will allow you to oh, see. How it's that pretentious. How many people kept hounding us, like, with messages about, like, and comments about, like, just don't get it. Well, District 9, it. definitely. No, yeah. I'm, I'm just talking about this one. I got a bunch of, like, you don't get it. It's a commentary. 
<laughs> no! There's this sense that just this because sense it's commentary doesn't mean it's it, good yeah. commentary. Yeah, the, 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 the problem, like, I, I wonder if this was a problem, like, when we were kids with filmgoers that would have been our age now, mm. with our parents, like, 30 years old. Like, of course, they didn't have the internet back then, but, you know, this idea that, like, you could throw out any, like, stupid commentary, but you're like, you don't get it, it's commentary. Oh, I definitely, while I was younger, I, I ate up all that stuff, you know, I definitely did. Um, but, but I, I didn't it's get... It's not good commentary. Yeah, I didn't get angry if someone else didn't like it or something, especially if I heard why and stuff, but I mean, there was like this, you know, well, what the hell is that movie? I loved it when I was younger, and then like a week later, I'm like, this actually sucks. Uh, Waking Life, remember? Like, we saw that. This was this animated, like, mind-blowing thing where it's gonna Which like Which one shake. was Waking Life? Uh, it's easily forgettable. It's like nothing but like a bunch of different fa it's just people sitting around talking philosophy and it's animated. Oh, and it sounds like, that, oh, that could, fucking movie! Yeah, like that could be really abstract and really interesting what you can do with animation and they okay, don't now I really that. do anything with it. It really is just people talking about philosophy and when I was younger I ate it up because I didn't like see anything like that. I loved philosophy and I loved animation but a week later I was just like yeah, what what did that, that movie add? Went, what yeah. that could have been? What that really That movie could went have in one ear, out the other. Which is what this movie does if it wasn't for not Henry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Just he's the only thing Henry. whenever I think about that film, I only think of him. I think I I yeah. don't even you know what? I don't even remember what the family fucking looked like. <laughs> like I can't even Ethan remember Hawk, that's it. <laughs> I don't even remember Oh, it was Ethan Hawke. Okay, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even remember like that is how disposable those characters mm. were. Um, what? Well, how much? At the very end, there's the twist that the neighbors actually want to kill him. Yeah, totally didn't see that coming. How much more fun again would it have been if you just see the neighbors next door and they're trying to get in, and it's just like these sweet little ladies or middle-aged ladies and stuff, and you know this guy that works as a gardener, and they're just trying to get in. They wear the mask, they got the makeup, and they just turn total psycho. I'm That'd sure, be so much fun. I'm sure that was some sort of. You don't get it, Doug. It's commentary. It's just because <laughs> in real life, you're more likely to be killed by people you know. It just and not, works. And not total strangers. So that was a clever commentary to show you how, in reality, they were afraid of the wrong people. Now, of course, they were going to get killed by total strangers, like, in the beginning of it. So that means commentary sort of mother. But it's clever. It works. Oh. It just works. Um... Yeah, I think that's the idea behind the movies, that they're trying to show it would work, but at what cost? No, it wouldn't work, and the costs are incredibly obvious that no one would ever do it. Um, I, would find, you know, I would find a more fascinating tale is if they did an Escape from New York style, where you set up some, like, libertarian utopia that, you know, a quarter of the country has always wanted, and you just take, like, three states chain them together, build a giant fence around them, and be like, okay, no laws there. Go do whatever you want. Yeah. But like, you can't, once you go in, LA, I think yeah. that, that once you go in, you can't leave. But <laughs> um, that, that would be an interesting, like, and and make a, a movie about fun. that it's, and see what, what happens Yeah, there. I feel like there's a good idea here, and there's good commentary there that they just haven't tapped into and chose yeah. not to dive into. Uh, they just sort of left it at this very basic idea. Yeah. You know, it's produced by Michael Bay, so you can see, like, he's like, no, no, just emphasize the bad, evil, this could happen, you know, stuff like it's that. Just by Michael Bay. So it's like, let's have a hint of a brain, but make sure you bludgeon it with everything else. Yeah, you know, like, it's like, this is a guy who's trying to make Transformers movie serious, you know, and like, and he thinks they're really high drama. You play the big, epic music when they're on, and the choir going, Optimus Prime, you know, and it's like, no, and he's gonna do, do the same. Optimus Prime! Um, well, and he's just trying to do the same thing with the Purge, even though he didn't direct it. Um, but, so yeah, so like I said, I really give credit that the second film does try to really retcon it. I do want to keep bringing up the second film, because I really give kudos that it did that, because there's a lot of films that come out, and they suck. I'll have to and, see this movie. But they're hits, and then, like, the sequel just does the same thing, because, hey, it worked. It just worked. Uh, but... <laughs> the with, works. Yeah, but with the sequel, the director legitimately tried to make it better, and, like I said, I just, I really salute you for for doing that. I, I just think that's really, really cool that he tried. He saw it, he noticed it, and he tried to fix it. Um, I have no idea if he did the third one. I don't know if it... Maybe the third one does come full circle. Maybe the third one somehow I don't just know. I haven't seen everything. It, so I... 
And I, I, I love. Kinda this, want, I kind of want. I kind of want. I love the tie into election year, especially this election. Uh, I should. I'm sure Brad does the midnight screenings. I gotta ask what he thought of it. Yeah, but I um, suppose I could just look it up. I'm looking because I saw the other two. I might as well just see it. I might as well watch it. But uh, yeah, it was. Um, it, this movie sucked. <laughs> the only entertaining part is the concept for how seriously they take it, and uh, and not Henry. Those really are the only two. Uh, really enjoyable things about it. Um, so, yeah, trying to think... Not Henry. Portrait of a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, trying to think if there's anything else about this film to say. Uh, I, I, I feel like it's all kind of in the review, and even though... And how do you go back to living... Like, how do you live in the same fucking neighborhood with people who tried to kill you the night before? Like, find some way. They just... The purge works so well, they just accept it. I did... Get but the, does it? <gasps> does it work? Does it work? No, it doesn't. But does it? Like, just imagine if those neighbors had failed. Like, well, I mean, they do fail, but imagine had they lived. Like, you're gonna sit there and, like, get the mail and water your plants the next day, staring at Grandma across the street, like, tum tum tum. Well, what, my like, favorite too. My favorite too is that, you no know, sense. no, I forgot about the ending because, like, the neighbors came and they're gonna kill him, and then, like, you know, um, what's her name? Queen Lannister comes in and knocks him out and says, No, nobody else is gonna die here! So they just have them all sit there quietly. It's like a minute before the purge ends, and then, like, one of the women is like, Yeah! Tries to grab a gun and she smashes her head and says, We want peace! And it's like, were they really so desperate to kill these people that it's like, One minute, die! Ah! You know, and it's like, it's. Really, obviously, not worth it. Um, so, yeah, this movie is so dumb. Uh, it was, this is one of those very therapeutic films to talk about. Like, just, oh, it feels good to finally talk about this. Because, like, not everybody loved it. It wasn't a critical hit. And a lot of people that saw it, right, yeah, that was pretty dumb or it didn't make sense or whatever. But, like, yeah, the ones that were just so sucked into it, it's just like, you know, the commentary! And it's it just felt so good to rip into it. Um, so, yes, it was a very therapeutic. I like it for the about. funny and or unintentionally funny parts. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and of course, just Matthew's brilliant. <laughs> yes. Uh, let me splurge! Oh that that God, bit he so did good. where he smacked himself into the wall and then is like... Yeah. Oh, oh. He's yeah, it, so funny in that. And of course, the thing in the brain cameo at the end. Uh, just all of that. It, it's a really funny review. Oh, that's uh, right. That was that yeah, one. Yeah, that, that was the one with uh, Marisa Marsh and uh, Ron Paulson at the end. Um, you beelined and like tracked them down in the cafe. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> I've never seen it. I held them at gunpoint. I like, had my own perch. He was like walking straight and then all of a sudden, poof. It <laughs> <laughs> was amazing. Um, so, uh... Yeah, that's about it. All we can say is the purge works. No, it doesn't. But does it? No. But does it? No. But does it? No. <laughs>